Hello guys, so in order to start the Air Spring adaptation, we have to go in VCDS uh, channel 3411 control and then go to adaptation. Before you can start adapting this module, you have to uh, first put the security access code in. So we're gonna go to security access type in in this particular case 31564 we can uh, enable the adaptation okay, click do it then we're gonna go to adaptation and before we click the left front wheel adaptation we you just have to not have anyone in the car you don't have to stay in the car just put the laptop outside of the car like like in this particular case and now we can start with the left front wheel uh, as soon as you click left front wheel adapt calibration the car will uh, level itself so we have to wait a bit until uh, it finishes so it will take just you know a minute or two depending on type of car but you usually take takes less than a minute to actually lower itself and now it raises itself and as soon as we get the value field in, in field one we get value then the self adaptation is done so now we have to measure from the center cap to under the fender and we're going to take that measurement from the front left wheel now and we're going to put that in in bcds uh, okay so we got the the measurement now that specific measurement we're going to put it in uh, in here so for left front wheel it's 384 millimeters from the center cap to under the fender. Uh, sorry, I think that was yeah, 404 actually. Sorry, I got the meaning wrong. Uh, it's best to have them written down or on your phone. But in this particular case, I have the phone recording for me. So I'm gonna click save and then we're gonna repeat the process for every wheel. So we're gonna go to the right front wheel now we're gonna measure and then we're gonna come back and put the values in it's as easy as that the most important things uh, that you have to keep in mind is to uh, never stay in the car when you're doing this adaptation you have to be outside of the car and keep your laptop on top on top of the car just exactly like like i'm doing now if you have a longer table outside on um, a, a table so if you have a longer cable you can do that as well um the other thing is make sure that you have at least half a tank of fuel in it and you don't have any unnecessary uh, luggage or stuff in in your trunk so make sure that the car is as basic as possible as it comes from the factory uh, to do the adaptation correctly. So I, I've seen a lot of videos where people just stay in the car and uh, this is this is not the correct way to, to actually do it. So you have to be outside of the car. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. And again, uh, please follow the, these steps exactly to not uh, you know, mess up the, the, the actual calibration. You have to go through the five steps left front right front left rear right rear after these four um, measurements have been put in you have to do the calibration confirmation so in the new value field you're gonna put one instead of zero press test and save and this will save all of our measurements and the calibration is basically finished. This is all you have to do. See you soon.